This is your Fast Life 2 with a special message to my subscribers for the holiday season. This is the time of year that, uh, you know, people celebrate and um, sometimes or many times that celebration involves drugs, people drinking alcohol, you know, doing things like ecstasy and other drugs. And here is a gentleman who can tell you a little bit about what that can mean. This is Jordy Herds. I'm sure some of you guys have heard about him already. This is a video that he recently posted. Link is in the description. I urge you to take a look at that. Uh, you know, in particular, if you are yourself using drugs or thinking about using drugs, um, not just for the holiday season. I mean, this is just a high, this is when a lot of things happen, but it, at any time, definitely hey, look at hey, this video. My, my, my name's Jordan Herders. Um, my, my, my. I'll let you guys watch the video. It's, it's kind of sad that this guy at only 20 years old, this is the p position that he's in. This, this happens to people just to, through circumstance in terms of you may be born with some kind of genetic disorder or something like that or an accident happens but this is something that he did to himself here's him in the hospital Now, although I don't recommend getting on a motorcycle when you're in a bad mood, I know a lot of people do that, but I do not recommend that. When you're in a motorcycle, you need to be focused. But if it's just a matter of maybe you're feeling a little bit down or something like that, it's tough for me to say this because I don't, I don't want to give you guys bad advice here. I mean, whenever you're riding a bike, no matter what the circumstances, you need to be alert and focused on what you're doing. So you need to be very, very conscious of, of what state of mind you're in. If you're really, really in that kind of drifty uh, state of mind where you're deep in thought about a bunch of things and you're going to potentially be on the bike and be, you know, thinking about other things in the road, then don't do it. But if you feel like you can be alert enough, you know, get out there, enjoy your motorcycle, you know. And the important thing is not staying inside and being depressed. I know a lot of people go through different things. Maybe you got a divorce going on. Um, you may have, you know, maybe you lost your job or who knows what the situation is. The important thing is, and I guess I'm just focusing on motorcycles because this is a motorcycle channel, but there's other things too. If you love music, play music, um, anything, I think outdoors is also very important. You know, go outside, play some soccer, basketball, uh, football, uh, tennis, whatever it is, uh, get outdoors, get some sun and do things that you enjoy, things that you're passionate about, spend time with loved ones, but drugs, just definitely not the way to go, not the way to go. And alcohol, you know, it just annoys me how we pretend like it's just a drink. We say, oh, we want to have a drink. It's not just a drink. It's You're taking drugs. One of the most destructive drugs that we have is alcohol. Every year, 88,000 people, 88,000 people, men, as men and women, 62,000 men, 26,000 women die from alcohol-related causes every year. Not from marijuana, from alcohol. All right? So definitely try to do things the right way. I think another another thing to think about is exercise. If you're dealing with any kind of stress or or a depression, exercise is very big. And I have a little bit of experience with that. You may see me, I'm always happy and, and, and that's genuine, but you know, way, way back when I was much, much younger, um, I went through some times where I was really, really, really uh, depressed and 
so I learned a lot about this stuff and I know that going outdoors, sunlight is good and exercise. It's really, really good to exercise as much as possible. Push yourself, push, 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 push. I know you're gonna feel like, oh, you're gonna make up excuses. Push yourself and get out there, get some exercises and you know, take care of yourselves, guys. All right, this is your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel 2. Uh, just giving you guys a, a, a holiday PSA message and wishing you guys well. Hope you have a great holiday season and uh, it's a safe holiday season. I want to see every single one of you guys commenting on videos uh, going into the new year. Wow, I just, wow, what a busy year it's been. I just realized that that's crazy. It just occurred to me that we're about to go into a new year. I didn't even think about that. I, I obviously I know we're going into holidays and, and Christmas is coming up and everything, but I, it didn't occur to me. January, man, it's gonna be a new year. Wow. Anyway, guys, this is your fast life too. Stay tuned for more videos. I kind of burnt myself out with the videos from the uh, the motorcycle show in California. I got too much stuff going on, but I, I, I do have more videos coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that. The Kawasaki ZX-10R, the Z800, uh, the Suzuki, and uh, also that uh, Ducati Diavel. So definitely stay tuned right here in your Fast Life 2. Stay safe. Happy holidays.